Hello guys and welcome to another advanced rocketry tutorial video. In this one we're going to talk about the microwave transmitter and how to generate RF from, uh, from space and send it down to earth for pickup. Or you can send it to some other place as well but then you need to do all everything I do here you need to do it in, on a different planet. So most convenient is to do it like I do it here uh, and things should work out just fine. So what we have here is, uh, is a rocket with a satellite bay. Let's see, our guidance computer needs an ID ship because I really want it to come back to Earth. Select. Now we need a satellite. I oh, should probably link it as well since we have, well, we have fuel. Well, that's good. Um, we have fuel is up and we have everything done. Great. Then we just need to prepare the satellite. So for this one to generate power from space, we need a satellite. Uh, and just to, to be honest, I'm not sure if we need these things, uh, data storage. I'm just building these like I've done uh, with my previous builds. Uh, we usually have batteries and stuff like this. And we need a satellite ID ship like we normally do and just a sensor. So if I find out more about the uh, this part for this satellite, uh, you'll find more information in the video description. So uh, let's go over here. I talked about this before just very briefly, the microwave transmitter. Wafers, lenses, tracking circuits, nothing, uh, nothing too extreme here. And we'll take our transmitter and build the satellite. Now this will give us um, a satellite ID chip and the satellite. So let's keep that one for now. Actually, that's not. Let's keep it in here. Also, this one can be removed, and this is the. As you can see, planet unknown, microwave energy satellite. No link because we haven't sent it yet. Go into the satellite bay like we normally do, place it here. And if we play our cards right, it should come back. I hope so. So uh, let's do it. And we'll do that. Let's put some more fuel in here. So hopefully when this come up to uh, into orbit, we can see velocity is maximum right now. Fuel is going down. The altitude is climbing, climbing. And this will put the microwave transmitter satellite in orbit around Earth because we launched it from Earth. Uh, as you can see here, planet unknown. And this should be updated to Earth in a, in a bit when we come up and we deliver our, uh, our satellite. Hopefully it comes back. So now you can see planet is Earth. So th that means that the microwave energy satellite will send the, uh, the energy to Earth. Now if I launch this from, uh, from the lun lunar, from the moon that is, uh, I guess the planet would have been the moon there or lunar. Uh, I don't remember how it was, how it looked. Destination. Yeah, Luna, they call it. All right, so uh, our rocket is back. We are probably refueling, ready to send the next one. And this is collecting energy, but we can't do anything in the, in the satellite terminal. You know the normal one where we have the telescopes. Apparently this one is missing. I just updated the mod, so I guess that's why my old satellites are not, not working as they should. So we have the satellite in orbit. Now let's talk about the the receiving part. So we can take our, you find it in the holo projector. There it is. Shift right click in the air and then you just select the microwave receiver. Okay. It looks like this. You can see it. Uh, and even if, even if I scroll, Nothing happens. It's only one block high. Lots of solar panels. So let's build it quickly. I can build it next to my array over here. 
A quick word on how to craft these things, at least in the standard recipes. Microwave receivers, gold plates, control circuit boards, sensors, lots of different and fun stuff. The solar panels, they are a bit simpler to make. Gold plates and redstone glow, and then the machine structure that you have seen before. And then finally the power output plug is just an input plug that you transform and the input plug is made from batteries and a structure. That's basically what you need to build the receiving part. Okay, something like that. Remove this one and uh, so you can see here we have the receiver in the center. That is a fixed point. Then we have lots of solar panels. They are fixed in this pattern. And then we have some options here. We need at least one input hatch. So let's take the input hatch here. I guess you can have several. Um, and we need power output like that. And then let's just place in energy cell or something and the rest of these can be either outputs they can be more inputs or simply more panels and I'll just do it like this I haven't fully explored this uh, how many input hatches is the maximum for a solar panel uh, because these ships are placed here that and, and this means that this solar panel if I right click here in the uh, in the center, by the way, it will form the multi block like that. So now if I click the middle here, we can see it's generating zero RF. It's turned off. The input hatch has the satellite ID chip. And if we just turn this on, ah, there it is. I have to replace it. Now this one is running and we're generating 200 RF per tick. And I can actually put one more in here or actually three more. But what I haven't done is that I haven't really explored the limits. If I place like three input hatches here and three here and if it's a, if it's a, some kind of a balance between the number of chips and the number of panels so i haven't really explored that and if i do then uh, i will update the video description so you can always check there but let's go back and see what we can do now so i have no more here I just use this for testing and this one is working exactly the same i have already one here this is number 24 and this is number 26 that we just made this is generating 200 and if we place number 26 here we are generating 400 and I actually have number 25 as well that I made yesterday and if we play number 25 in here I hope we get 600 RF per tick and I guess there's some kind of limit in how many you can have but as I said I haven't explored it but it's actually that simple to make to make the solar panels or the uh, the microwave transmit receiver and then send the transmitter up to orbit all right if you have any questions about this you know where to put them and i hope i'll see you in the next one take care and bye bye